Welcome to this short demonstration video of the Aerosoft Airbus X Extended fly-by-wire and protections. As always this is uh, taken from the beta version so it's all a work in progress. You may see some uh, small errors here that we're working to correct at the moment. This is just to give you an introduction to the system. So at the minute got the autopilot and auto thrust engaged we're in speed mode selected 300 knots out cruise at flight level 150 and heading mode first off we'll take a look at the roll modes of the fly-by-wire so if the autopilot comes out master traffic, warning so it traffic. knows bit of a traffic advisory there, it's telling me to reduce the map range, I won't bother, it's just a bit of AI getting in the way of my flight test. So roll then, I want to bank the aircraft, just take the flight directors off so they're not confusing, bank the aircraft, little bit of side stick input and then centralizing that side stick input it will hold the bank angle up to 33 degrees just hold that with no inputs from me at all so stick see coming across to the left And when I release it, just holds that bank angle. Now you'll notice on the primary flight display in front of us there, two small green markers, one on each side. They're the roll limits, 67 degrees they're set to. And the aircraft won't actually let me roll any further across than that. So you can't roll an Airbus, at least not in normal law. So here we go. Now the difference is once you are past thirty three degrees you need to maintain the side stick to hold the bank. There's forty five degrees there. Just pinch your nose up a bit. And it'll go all the way across to sixty seven degrees. hard back, still losing height. If I release everything, you'll notice that we go back to 33 degrees and then the roll stabilises. So you can do steep turns, but the minute you let go of the side stick it will return to 33 degrees. Get us back up to uh, flight level 150. While we're climbing up here, if you have a look down at uh, negative pitch at 15 degrees, you'll see two extra green markers there. That's the pitch limit. If I just bring the thrust levers out of the climb gate so I get manual thrust uh, thrust lever enunciation just warning me that they've come out I'll let the speed come back we'll have a look at the negative pitch limit pitch works exactly the same way while I'm pushing forwards on the stick we will pitch down if I release the stick it will hold that pitch angle if I put the stick all the way forwards there, hard down, you'll notice that we stop at 15 degrees. Pitch it back up. Just to 10 degrees, get that height back. And remember to put the thrust levers back into the climb gate so we have auto thrust.
As we come up back towards flight level 150, I'll let the speed increase and we'll have a look at uh, positive pitch, the nose up. Works in exactly the same way, pull back on the stick, nose rises as you'd expect, release the stick, it will hold the pitch angle. If I pull all the way back, you'll see the markers at 30 degrees nose up and it won't allow me to pitch any further up than that. So before we demonstrate the alpha protections, bring the nose back to level. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the speed protections incorporated. We'll look at the overspeed first. I'm going to bring the thrust levers out of the climb gate all the way up to the toga setting. See us accelerating rather rapidly towards the barber's pole. As we reach out and get master warning, speed, over speed uh, enunciated there. You'll notice the aircraft pitches itself up to get us out of the over speed condition. And this pitch up can't be overridden by the pilot. Okay, now we'll take a quick look at the under speed protections provided. They're not really under speed, more uh, angle of attack protections. The first one is to all to do with speed though. Not a protection of the fly-by-wire system as such, but it is of the uh, flight management and guidance system. See we're in speed mode here. If I wind the speed back to start us slowing. I've set it to a rather ridiculous 130 knots which as we can see from the green dot here our min clean speed for our particular gross weight is 210 knots just take a bit of spoiler to help that deceleration we'll be here all day now what you notice here is on the speed tape here, despite me having 130 knots selected, the Airbus rather cleverly has set it to this at 185 knots. This is VLS velocity lowest selected and it means that you can't get yourself into trouble by winding back to too slow a speed. that doesn't mean however if you do something ridiculous like bring thrust levers out of the climb detent back towards idle it will slow below that Now what you notice is the alpha protection. It's lower in the nose to keep the angle of attack sensible so we don't stall. And the auto flight system's trading altitude for airspeed so it's lowered the nose to keep us coming down. I'll bring the autopilot out. do something totally ridiculous like for instance pulling back on the stick to 
speed eventually speed we get the speed, speed call speed toga lock speed. is enunciated speed 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 take off go around speed. thrust is commanded speed. and we climb away to get out of uh, toga lock disconnect and reconnect the auto throttle bring the climb leave the thrust levers back up into the climb gate